hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be making this beautiful triangular top so if this look like what you're interested in definitely keep on watching so to begin this is the fabric i'm going to be using for this beautiful top okay and what i have here i already cut this to a my desired length i cut it at to be a square all right so we know that a square is going to be equal both on the width and the length okay and so to get your own square you're going to take your measurement from your shoulder to the length the desired length of the top then you are going to add it you are going to add it by two okay you are going to multiply your desired length by two so for instance your desired length is 20 for the top you are going to cut out 40 by 40 here okay so 20 plus 20 is going to give you 40 right so you are going to cut out 40 by 40 here so what i have here is 40 by 40 right this is what i have here so after sewing it it's going to give us 23 not too long not too short okay so i have 40 by 40 here all right so i'm going to fold it in like this it's in like this like a triangle okay this is how i'm going to fold it in making sure that all the edges all the points are equal right like here see i'm just adjusting it to make sure that everything is equal all right this is the down part this is one side of the up and this is the other side of the up okay so i make sure that all the sides are equal all right so now i have a triangle can you see now i have a triangle so the next thing i'm going to do is to fold it in like this to form another triangle okay okay so i folded it in like this to form another triangle okay so this second one i folded it in is just for me to get the center of the first triangle okay so before i notch the center i'm just making sure that all the parts are equal that i'm notching on the exact um center okay so i just placed a notch there all right so when i place the notch i'm just going to go up ahead and open it up now this is my center okay this notch i placed here is the center of the first triangle that we made okay so this is notch of that first triangle so from here i'm going to start taking my measurements okay so the first thing i'm going to do is to put my sh half shoulder measurement all right because if you look at that top very well you're going to see that it has an opening on the shoulder side okay so this is my half shoulder measurement here here is my shoulder i'm just marking it out on both sides of this triangle that we have here all right so from that my shoulder to get the upper part of the shoulder remember the, there is an opening from the upper of the shoulder to any desired um opening that you want okay so here from that my shoulder edge i came in by two inches okay and then from the other side i went by by three which means that i'm going to be opening this place by five inch okay so i'm doing the same thing for the other side i went in towards the neck by two inches and i went out towards the arm sleeve by three inches okay so this is what i have then the next thing i'm going to do is to examine my neck depth and width okay so my neck depth i want it to because if you see it's supposed to be a very high neck so i'm using three inches for my neck depth remember we are working on our actual fabric so that after we are done turning it is going to give us like three. okay let me leave three and a half because we're going to be using a bias for the neck okay so from there i'm going to determine what i want to use for the neck width so i started to use three and a half also so i'm doing the neck width and the neck depth three and a half okay so here is what i have for the front okay this is the front Okay, so this is the front neck depth and width okay so what i'm going to do on this shoulder because i want us to achieve a very tiny shoulder a very tiny fabric on the shoulder i'm instead going to come up from 
remember that this is our actual shoulder here right this is our actual shoulder so the first time we came up towards the neckline by two i'm just extending it to be three now okay so just note that what you are going to use after everything is three by three on both sides of the shoulder okay remember that this is our shoulder line this is our shoulder line let me just extend our shoulder line so i make it different from the rest okay this is our shoulder line from our shoulder line towards the neck for our shoulder line towards the neck we're going to open it by three inches okay this is what we have and then we are going to also go down on the sleeve side by three inches like we did before okay we are going to do the exact same thing for this side as well three by three inches all right so when we have achieved this this is the neck this is this is the neck right this is the neck width the neck depth we did it three by three this is the front of the neck okay so for the back all right for the back i'm going to do it one inches for the depth for the back okay so this is the back neck right and then this is the three by three that we, three and a half by three and a half that we used before for the neck width because it's going to be equal both the front and back for the neck width okay so i just connected it all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead now and cut all this out okay i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out so remember you're not going to be cutting it together because the front and back is not the same all right so look very closely to see how I went ahead to cut mine. You see here, I'm I'm cutting just different. Okay, so I opened it up to cut the back. So this is what we have this is what we have for the for the front and back okay so this is the front and this is the back so to cut the um round the um opening that we have on the shoulder we have already measured it as remember that this is our shoulder line so i'm just going to connect this like so okay so this one i have no measurement for it i just connected it round like this Okay, so I reduced it just to make sure that it's not going to be too deep after cutting it out. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead now and cut both the front and back at once. Okay, so this is what we have. This is what it's going to look like. Okay. So at this point, we are done with the cutting. The only last thing we are going to do is to fold this front into two, okay? We are going to fold the front into two. So remember there is a tearing at the front, all right? So to get that tearing, we are going to fold the front into two, like this. Make sure it's equal. Make sure it's very equal, okay? So when we have gotten it, I'm just going to Take the measurements this one depends on how open you want the bust to be so i don't want mine to be that open i just went down by four inches okay so watch the way i'm going to cut it i'm just going to trim out a little bit of something on the center like this okay so see the way i cut it out so that after you trim it, this center is still going to come together. Okay, so let me just open it and show us what it looks like. Alright, so this is what it looks like for the front. This is the back and this is the opening of the shoulder. Okay, so this opening is not looking big enough. I might end up opening it more so it looks bigger than it looks now because the one in the picture is very big. So that when our shoulder enters it, it's just going to relax. Okay, so I might go ahead and open it. I don't know, but let me just try it on and see if this opening is enough. When I went ahead to open it up, I found out that the hole was actually perfect. 
So we are going to go ahead now and start making this, okay? Now the first thing we are going to do is to use our bias and turn this, okay? This top do not need a lining, okay? Whatever you are, whatever material you are using to do it, to sew this top, it does not need a lining, okay? It's supposed to be free and it's supposed to be light, okay? So it does not need a lining. So this is the bias we are going to be using for the neck. And the way we are going to turn the neck, this is a bias form, right? We are going to fold it in on the neck like this. Okay? This is how we are going to do it. Okay? So you are going to use it and pipe the neck round. You are also going to use it and pipe here round as well. Okay? Here too, you are going to pipe it round. Alright? So if you have enough bias, after piping all this place, you are supposed to use your bias to also pipe the down round. Okay? But I don't have enough bias to go round for the down. So I'm just going to end up folding my down like this. Okay? So but first of all, I'm going to go back to my sewing machine and pipe all these holes. I'm going to pipe here, I'm going to pipe here, I'm going to pipe here, then also pipe the neck like this, okay? So after piping it, anyone that remains, we are going to sew it together and use it for the rope at the center, okay? So this top is a really simple one. I'm just going to go ahead and do the piping. So here, this is what we have. I've gone ahead to pipe all the holes, okay? The two shoulder holes, the um, tearing at the center front, and also the round neck okay so this is what i have after i was done all right so this bias i made it straight up i didn't join it as you can see i first of all pipe the hole here then i just sew a long elastic um bias to my desired length of the rope then i started matching it around the neck okay so i hope you understand this Alright, so at this point, we are done with this top. We are just going to go ahead and shape one side of it, okay? So this is what we have for the neck. I also went ahead to fold um, the down part with a very tiny fold, alright? So if you have enough bias, you can also pipe the down part. It's going to make it more beautiful, alright? But because I don't have enough bias, I ended up folding the down part, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just... Here, I'm just arranging this top, right? I'm just arranging this top, and I'm going to shape it, okay? So, I'm just trying to arrange this to make sure that I get the accurate body, okay? The accurate shape of this top, right? So, here, I'm just trying to arrange it, right? So, after I was done arranging it, this is the center front, right? I'm just going to make a point, a mark at the center. I'm just going to make a mark at the center here. Okay? So that from there, we can take our measurement for the shaping. Alright? So what I'm going to do here now is, I'm going to divide my bust measurement by 4. Okay? Whatever I have there, I'm going to add about 1.5 inches. Because you know this top is a free top. Okay, so what I when I measure this, this is what I have, my bust point, and I'm going to add about one and a half inches to it. Okay, so this is what I have. Okay, so from my shoulder, I'm going to come down by nine or ten inches. Okay, so it depends on how deep your shoulder is. If what you use on your normal shoulder armhole depth is eight inches, then on this case, you are going to use ten inches because this is free. Right, so this is 10 inches. I'm just going to extend this 10 inches mark to the measurement I have here, and then I'm going to connect it like this for the shaping. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side as well. Take my quarter bust measurement from the center, that is why we drew, drew this center line here. Okay, so from the center add about one and a half inches or one inch depending on how free you want it to be okay so make sure you arrange it well before you do this part okay then from the shoulder come down by 10 inches 9 inches 11 inches depending on the inches you use for your armhole just add two inches to your normal armhole uh, depth inches then you connect straight okay so i'm just going to go ahead now and shape this all right so when i'm done shaping this this top is ready 
so guys this is what it looks like when we are done this top is absolutely beautiful okay so drop a comment on the comment section if you are going to try this all right so at this point if you are yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up okay you can as well share this video with your friends until next time bye bye